and welcome to Dodo Eat Girl Talk. I'm Coral. I'm Ashley. And right now we're going to have a little discussion about the CM Punk podcast with Colt Gavano. Like, dude, that was good. Yes, it was. <laughs> so much. Like, I don't know where to start. Like, That's what he said, though. He was like, yeah. I don't know where to start. But he then went on for like two hours. <laughs> yeah. So I hope we don't go on for two hours. No. We're basically just going to summarise. Yeah. And then maybe talk about a few things. Yes. Um, so... My overall, I'm going to start with my overall view of it all. Yeah. To my overall view, people are going to not like my overall view. You're going to hate this overall view. Oh, I'm going to punch you. Maybe. But I think the main reason that he is a bit bitter is because he never ever got to a headline WrestleMania. That's all he kind of went on about. And I think the health thing really affected him, which is fair enough. But yeah. I think the, one of the main reasons is he just wasn't getting that WrestleMania headline that he wanted so bad. At one point, he even mentioned someone retiring and getting the headline shot at WrestleMania. But this was before we found out he was actually sacked, not he didn't actually quit. Yeah. So then I was like, oh, maybe he retired thinking, oh, he'll get the headline shot at WrestleMania. Yeah. But then I was like, no. <laughs> but I don't know. I think most of the bitterness might be because of WrestleMania, but there is a lot of factors. Because sometimes you just get so fed up with shit. Yeah. You just go fuck it. I think, you know how I felt before I left? Um, I'm not going to... Yeah, try. yeah. But I kind of sympathised with him because mm. I felt everything he was feeling, even though he's like a bigger company, I felt exactly the same and I felt trapped and I felt like everyone else was being put over me because they said the same thing or they told them what I've said mm. and then they've gone and done it. Even I like mine has been shot down, so I think I think I sympathise a lot with punk, um, because I've been in a similar position. Obviously, I won't rest in, <laughs> <laughs> but I was I was in a position where I was kind of giving out all these ideas. They were being shot down, and they'd give the idea to someone else, and they were getting praised for it, even though it was exactly the same thing, and um. And it was stuff like that, and I probably really sympathise with him, so I, I see why he didn't want to be there anymore. Yeah. Um, even though I went back. I'm, I'm fine now. I appreciate it. So. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'd, I, I mean, I don't, I don't think he's bitter. I think he's, I think that maybe is his one regret, that he never got the headline. I suppose it wasn't his call, though. Yeah, it was, it was never going to be his call. And uh, I think, but I think... He knows that he should have got that headline. Because I, mean, I remember when he went against Undertaker and it wasn't the headline. Mm. Sometimes it was always the Undertaker headline. Yeah. And it was John Cena and The Rock, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And the more talked about match was Punk and Undertaker. Everyone, everyone had lots of suspicions that he was actually going to beat him that year. Mm. And it was the year after that Brock beat him. But <laughs> so Brock never, that. really. I was so annoyed that Punk didn't beat him. I love The Undertaker, and I didn't want The Undertaker to ever be defeated, but I was like, Punk has to win this shit. Mm. And everyone thought he would. And um, it's, it's, it felt like the WWE, like, I think because I've where I saw a lot of his career, like I think, and from his story, I think I feel like WWE was purposely trying to spite him. Mm. And that's the way I see it. I think... Um, what, yeah. by letting Brock Lesnar beat Undertaker? No, just the whole not even letting him have the main event, because Undertaker was always the main event. Mm. And, uh, it wasn't. You know what I mean? Like, The Undertaker only does come back once a year. Mm. And I think he was right to say, because when Triple H he went to come out of retirement just to wrestle CM Punk, he was right to say no. Even yeah. though he would have got, I think he might have got a main event then. But still, why would you... What well, on the event because of the other person in the match. Exactly. So that's the only reason it would have been. But let's start from the beginning. This is this is I wrote loads of notes on this. <laughs> loads of notes. I was very professional about this yeah. time. And um so he didn't know where to start and then once he started he couldn't <laughs> stop. Straight <laughs> <Swear> on. <laughs> so um we first started with sponsorship. Yeah, I can't that's that's the kind of thing that used to happen to me. So what sponsorship. Can, you know, like, he was offered sponsorship and then he weren't allowed it and then Brock had it. Mm-hmm. It was kind of like, that's the kind of thing that they used to do to me. So I'm really, it made me angry that they did it to him. Oh, okay. I felt proper sorry for him. So basically, he had all these sponsorship offers and he wanted to repackage himself. So he wanted to have, like, the fighter 
but like a spider boxing shorts and the sponsors on them and he bought this idea to Vince and there was like massive money to be gained from this mm. and Vince said no it will annoy our raw sponsors I'm, I'm I think it's quite good that Punk's very upfront about yeah I wanted the more money yeah because fair enough you know what I mean he knows that it's more than what he needs for a lifetime but he still wants it yeah so and then a year later Brock comes back and he has the shorts with the sponsors on so he was a bit like fuck but then he did have his UFC background which he had on UFC so yeah. he kind of was like well I can't really say much but it's still the principle because yeah. if it was because of the, to piss off the Royal sponsors Vince would say no we have to leave that behind with UFC yeah exactly you wouldn't then say okay Brock you can have that so I think this is where it kind of all started. It was right at the yeah. beginning. It all started right from when he re-signed with them. <laughs> By the sounds of it, because this yeah. is right at the beginning when well, he, he re-signed. Like, it, there was no quietness about the fact that he weren't going to re-sign. Yeah. He re-signed at the end of an episode, uh, end of a pay-per-view, I think it was. Because I remember my brother going on about it, because he had pretty much had enough, and he was just going to leave. I think, to be fair, I think he would. he's a lot bigger now for re-signing. I, I think I don't think he should have re-signed, but I think it was a good thing for his career because he couldn't go down in history as one of the wrestlers that yeah did fight back. Mm. And I think that's the kind of history he's gonna have. But behind that, you're gonna know everything he did, and it was really good. Yeah. So then he says that he outsold Cedar's merch, the only person to do this, which I kind of believe to be fair. Oh yeah, he he, he, so he was more. Times. I think he was more popular than Cena. He was, he was at that point. He was like, the face of WWE. Yeah. He really was. And then after him, it was Daniel Bryan, but I don't think he had sold his merch. No. Because that's when the authority came up, just before Daniel Bryan there. Because mm. they were against Daniel Bryan. Uh, so then he started talking about Maker Wishes. Seeing as apparently the only person shown to do them, but apparently loads of superstars do them, they don't show them. That's disgusting. I think that is disgusting. Yeah. It makes everyone else look like shit, like, it's like yeah. they don't do anything. So he was saying he did loads of Make-A-Wishes. He yeah. did as much as Cena did, but they'd never shown that. they only shown what Cena done. Yeah. Which is kind of... It's stupid. That actually made me feel angry, because they were saying, oh, Randy Orton does stuff, and this person we does stuff. It. It's like, you never see it. So what's the point? Of, like, I, it's nice that you do Make-A-Wishes, but at the same time, it's like, well, what's the point? I because think I've seen Seamus do one and Randy Orton do one. Yeah, I've seen Seamus do one. When he took that kid to the stadium. Yeah. That's that cute. It. Yeah. But still, I don't think that was a WWE thing. Someone else did it, didn't they? Oh, really? Yeah, it wasn't. So they don't bro- They should broadcast this. Yeah. But anyway, not only that, that's good for business as well. Yeah. Because then loads of people follow Make a Wish, not necessarily WWE fans. They might put them into it, you know what I mean? Like, they should show everyone. And plus, it makes your company look like. Oh, everyone in this company wants yeah. to help. Not just Cena doing everything. Yeah, but it's like every time they go back for the trips, it's always Cena. I know, it's just... Mm. Okay, so then we get to... CM Punk gets offered 12 rounds too. From... No, I still need to see Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see all the WWE films. Fact, well, CM Punk was going there all, all four. I well, don't want to... Yeah. yeah, I don't want to be in time off. Yeah, and he's like, I just want time off. So... Um, Triple H, he was like, isn't it the same time as European tour? And Triple H was like, no. And CM Punk got very angry. Yeah. He was like, the, it's the same... It's the same time every year. It is the same time every year. And um, he's like, Triple H like, no, no, it's not. So then the next day, he sees on the internet that Randy Orton <laughs> has got the role in 12 Rounds 2. <laughs> and he wasn't actually told about it. No. So he's rung up Triple H going, I've just seen this on the internet. Oh, yeah, well, blah, 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 cash in the European tour. <laughs> so, Triple H, um, CM Punk was like, well, why didn't you ring me yeah. and tell me? Why do I have to find out through the internet? So, like, what if he didn't actually look at the internet? What would happen? Yeah. He went, no, it was just a bit awkward. So, it'd be quite interesting to see Punk act, though. Because he's quite, he's really good with the microphone. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I think Randy Orton's probably a better actor than John Cena. I really want to see the films. Can we have a movie night? <laughs> yeah, we'll have a WWE <laughs> movie night. <laughs> <laughs> um... So that was that, and he was mad about not being paid enough, which is fair enough, because he was saying like they'd make like I don't know he's worth this amount, and they gave they were daily giving this amount, which is fair yeah. enough because if you feel like you're doing more than you're worth, yeah, I mean everyone wants pay rise, yeah, 
Like, I think I think the thing that more bugged him is he was up there wrestling with all these other wrestlers and he was getting main events on certain pay-per-views and stuff. And he, were, he was getting less than the people he was wrestling with. Yeah, that's disgusting. And that, yeah, that's not right. I mean, fair enough. They have all their merch deals. They get a percentage of the merch. No one's income is going to be exactly the same. No. But I think if you're wrestling, you should be earning the same amount. Especially if his merch is apparently outside and seen us. Yeah. Surely he should be up there. Like, that don't really make sense to me. Yeah. Um. So then... He was saying they don't protect wrestlers, but they only protect themselves. They're talking about this contract thing they have. I can't yeah. really remember the full part of it, but it's a standalone contract thing. So yeah. it's you're basically not protected for insurance or injury and shit like yeah. that, which is terrible. And he was saying, who is it who's got a union? Is it the UFC? Is it UFC? N- F- NFL. NFL. They've got a union, which basically says we have to get the best medical care ever, and they're losing money because of it. I think WWE should be losing money because they're looking after their staff. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's not right. That's probably the only company in the world that isn't looking after their staff. You know, like major company. company. Yeah. Because the amount of like physical stuff they have to do. Yeah. Why should they have to fork out for themselves? They're doing it. If, if the wrestlers weren't there, you wouldn't be getting fuck all. So no. let's just put that into perspective. Okay. And put it this way. So many wrestlers are injured at the moment. I wonder why. I don't know. And apparently he was saying if you didn't work... For injury, you were kind of punished. Yeah. Uh, I think that's disgusting. That's yeah. even terrible as it is. But the thing is, he, he later on goes on to say he was wrestling so hard to try and injure himself so he'd have time off. Yeah. The amount of wrestlers, right, what I'm saying is, this can't be a coincidence. The amount of wrestlers that are out for injury at the moment. Oh, that's ridiculous. And he said there are other wrestlers that are afraid to talk up or do anything. I'm I'm convinced they're all injuring themselves. What, to get some time off? Yeah. Probably. I can shame this. But do you remember Jack Swagger? He used to come out with bruised ribs, like taped up ribs for months. Yeah. And we were like, what the fuck? Why is he wrestling? Like, yeah. If he's, like, in, like, if he's injured enough to have, like, strapped up, like, strapped up ribs, he shouldn't be in there. No. And this kind of just puts into perspective why he was in there. Because yeah. Because they're like, well, you got no other choice. You, you yeah. don't have to wrestle. Which is stupid, because you end up getting more injured yeah. than you were. They need to get a bigger roster... And then it doesn't matter if someone gets injured. They can go recover and you've got a bigger roster to... Bring up some NXT. Yeah. yeah. Fucking hell. So then, um... He needed knee surgery while he was champion. But he didn't want to take time off because he was champion. Didn't want to lose it. Which is fair enough. Yeah. Most wrestlers probably would be Yeah, the they same. want to be champion. They don't want to leave. It's like um, Daniel Bryan had to leave when he was champion. They get back to John Cena. Oh, fucking stupid. Give it to someone else. Yeah. Um, so he thought it was a bad idea to drop the title to The Rock in the first place. I think... Do Rock get booed for this? I can't remember. I know it wasn't really well received. It wasn't the best well received, I think, because everyone was just on Punk's side at the time. Even though Punk was heel right at the end, everyone loved yeah. him. Because he wanted to have a triple threat. He wanted John Cena, Rock and him, which would have been quite cool, actually. Yeah. It's better than a casual one-on-one. Yeah. Um. So he can't move his elbow. There yeah. was this thing about he couldn't move his elbow. It, it was like stuck in a 45 degree angle, which obviously stops you from doing everything. Yeah. <laughs> if you think about it. Um, so then he went some time off for surgery. And then five days after his surgery, he's back promoing some <laughs> shit, which is terrible. And he did have his arm in a car, in a sling, didn't yeah. he? Because I remember that. I remember a promo with that, him with the mic and his arm. Like, eh. I think, it, I think it was feuding John Cena at the time. I think so. Mm. Uh, so then, t- then they wanted to put um, Punk in a group. And they wanted... <laughs> this, this actually... The writers are terrible because they wanted to put Punk with <laughs> Big Show <laughs> and Daniel Bryan. Who the fuck would put those three together? Yeah. First off, I, obviously I know Daniel Bryan had a, um, a tag team with Kane that kind of worked on a comedy yeah. sense and they cut it as soon as they should have. But you don't... Punk and Daniel Bryan, they're two, like, headliners. And um, Punk was right when he said, you can't put them together. No. He said, if they come together for a match against each other, it'd be perfect. And he's right. But you, there is no way they would have worked as a three. tag. Yeah, three-way tag. A big, big show. show? What the fuck is that? I'm sorry. Yeah. But imagine those three together as the Shield. Like, imagine them in the <laughs> Shield outfit. How ridiculous would <laughs> that fucking look? I'm sorry. It would look awful. It would just look terrible. And I was just like... The writers actually come up with that and thought that was a good idea. Yeah. So he was like, nah. <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> I mean, but his story also makes sense as to why they pushed Seth Rollins. Yeah. Because he was saying how Seth Rollins' name did come up in the idea. Oh, yeah, Seth Rollins was meant to be a part of it. Yeah. Which, somehow. Punk and, uh, Punk and Seth Rollins together would have worked. Yeah, or a feud. Yeah, like that would have been good. of each other. But so he was like, no, we'll get 
we'll put Seth, we'll get some two other guys to come in and they could be with me. So he wanted Seth and Dean Ambrose. And some other, some other guy, I can't remember his name. No. And it sounded a lot like Ro Roman Reigns' old name though. Oh really? Yeah, it worked because Roman Reigns' old name was like Linky or something. Oh okay. And it sounded okay. like it but it wasn't that. And no. And was like, oh no, there's another guy, Roman Reigns. So there's like, okay, fine. And imagine that though, is if, because basically they had decided then not to put the shield with CM Punk. But I reckon how good that would have been if CM yeah. Punk was the lead of that. That would have been absolutely insane. Yeah. But really if it weren't for CM Punk, Dean Ambrose and Ryan Reigns wouldn't have a job. But I feel like there, I feel like Dean Ambrose is a bit CM Punky in the sense of he will chat back, and I think that's why they're pushing. So obviously they've pushed Seth Rollins because they've always wanted him to come up. Yeah, they've always wanted him to come up. That's probably why he was leading the authority. Yeah. But Dean Ambrose, he's had all that. He's had the whole versus Seth Rollins, and he's gone down to Bray Wyatt. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like he probably does talk back a bit. Yeah, and that's you've got you to like. remember he comes from uh, CZW. Yeah. And um, like he comes from that. Like, I reckon he does talk back. He does seem like the kind of guy who's going to talk back. And I think he's going to have the same kind of career as Punk. But there was this thing I've, I've seen been seeing going around that apparently Seth thinks it's bullshit what's happening with Brock Lesnar. Oh, really? So, I reckon that. Seth is a bit of a demon in quiet. <laughs> and I think they were saying Seth isn't stupid. Yeah. They were saying Seth isn't stupid. Like, they were yeah. worried that he was just going to become, like, a, not like a Cena, because Cena does say no, but one of those people is too afraid. Yeah. And then they were saying, well, he's got he's smart. So, he may be at the moment, because he's new, but he's I reckon trying, after yeah. a while, he'll be like, nah. Yeah, because <laughs> Punk was on ECW, I don't think he really said much. He got up to the main roster and was just like... Well, ECW got cancelled, didn't it? Yeah. I liked ECW. It was like, well, it was like NXT, wasn't it? Yeah. But more mainstream. Rob Van Dam's gone back to uh, TNA, though. Has he? Yeah. Uh, they, they said it on the thing, in the beginning, when he was rambling, that other guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, I'll have to bring that up. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so, he said the idea to Vince about bringing up these new meat. So we kind of, and Vince and Triple H said yes, but then Triple H got all the credit for it. Do you know what though? The, all the things that Punk has said of what they should do or what was wrong have been the right things. He needs to be a writer. <laughs> he does. I mean, come on. Like, he has to be. Like, I think he knows what's best for me, isn't he? Come, let him come back as a general manager. Oh, that was so good. Punk is general manager. <laughs> come on, we need a new one. So then basically, there was this whole bit CM Punk hates right back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, him. And the thing is, we're not big fans of Ryback anyway. No. We don't think he can wrestle. And there's this bit that really cracks me up. Okay, so I will explain. So basically, Ryback was in a match with CM Punk, who he now calls as Steroid Guy, which I could believe. Yeah, easily. Easily. And I, and I don't know why they keep him around if he is on steroids. But apparently, it's the whole oh, you took drugs, but you have to work these extra hours he's mentioned something about it in there oh right yeah yeah very quickly like you can I just yeah. like, it's in a sentence but basically they're saying yeah you could get that like, positive drug but they make you work for it which so, explains why Jack Swagger's still there yeah because he's been done so many times weed and how how long Jeff Hardy was there for yeah Matt Hardy so um so yeah so basically Ryback kicked him so hard in the ribs apparently this was on purpose as well yeah. that he broke CM Punk's ribs well, like, think about it. How many times Ryback throws people down and it makes the thing oh, He is vicious. He can't wrestle. I'm sorry. No. He can't. Um, so then, um, CM Punk had knee surgery. He went off, had his knee done. He was like, yes, yeah, got time off. Vince calls, I think, how long ago after his surgery? It's a couple of weeks. I think it was it? a couple of days after his surgery. He said, in a couple of weeks, can you have, you're in a booked in a TLC match with Ryback. <laughs> Three weeks, this is during three weeks after his knee surgery. And he was like, I've just had fucking knee surgery. Yeah, this is when he was going back to see if he could he could try some wrestling out, wasn't he? He was driving somewhere. No, this is was later that, on. Oh, that's this later on. on. Yeah. This is how many times it's happened. Yeah. I'm getting a bit confused. So he, he's just had knee surgery. Oh, how are you doing? How are you coping? Well, yeah, I'm good. I am still need to have time off, though. It's, you know, not good. Yeah. And he's like, oh, you booked a match. You were right back in a TLC match in three weeks. Good luck. He's like, I can't do that. I'm yeah. like, he's like, oh, you're doing it. <laughs> Okay then. Okay. So he had no choice but to do it, and he was like, "Fuck, it's right back. I'm going to die." Basically. Yeah. So um, the thing is, I think Punk should have said something sooner about just being forced to work. 
yeah. with injury. Because I think now this has come out, I think people are going to go and watch a bit clearer to it and say, like, you're not treating them right. Yeah. Because surely there's something wrong, illegal about that. Yeah. There's got to be something illegal about that. Welfare of your workers, you know what I mean? Just because they're getting paid thousands and thousands of pounds, they can't keep going out there and injuring themselves. Because like Punk said, he could have died. You could have. Um... Then uh, he had this match with Ryback, <laughs> and he injures CM Punk again. <laughs> Basically, he goes to put CM Punk for a table, but misses and puts him through his concrete floor. Oh, I've seen that video. Have you? Yeah, my brother showed me when I was. It's horrible. Um, it's kind. Of, it was really blurry. It was on my phone. Oh. But it kind of just hits the corner of the table. And just on the floor. Yeah, so he goes backstage, he's losing his shit at right back. He's like, Are you just dumb? I can't wrestle, or did you do that on purpose? Tell me that was on purpose. And to right back turns around and goes, I'm just dumb. And literally, I wet myself. <laughs> I was <laughs> cracking up. I was like, Who does that? Who is that sick? I don't know. You seriously could not wrestle that well. No, like, people, these, some of these people have been like punk and race. They've been, they've been wrestling the whole entire life. Yeah. You know what I mean? They've been working their way up there. And you've got people like right back. And, is Brett Lesnar a UFC fighter before no. a wrestler? Is he a wrestler before? Yeah. Okay, because you've got these people that come in, like the Divas, they come in and just... Wing it. Yeah, they wing it. They don't know. It's like they've picked Lana up out of nowhere and just gone, do you want to learn to wrestle? You could be uh, Rusev's kind of side woman for a while and then yeah. put me on the Divas. It's silly. It is stupid. You should get these people that are trained forever. There's wrestling places all over. There's one, like, 20 minutes from here. Like, we can drive there. Like, my brother's doing it. Mm. There's a wrestling camp. Paige has been wrestling all their life. Yeah. They're the people that deserve it, not the people who look like a diva, so they're all of a sudden like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's silly, and I feel like they do it with some of the male wrestlers as well. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. So, um, then we have... Oh, sorry, my, uh, my legs gone dead. <laughs> yeah, my wrist is dead. That's why I have to sit across Um So basically, he, he, he goes off a bit of a tangent. He's like, I question part-time workers. It only brings in occasional viewers, which is totally true. Yeah. It's just stupid. I don't really get that. Like, surely you'd give the part-time work to the people not really there that much. Yeah. Why give it to people who need on that wrestling card? It don't make sense yeah. to me. It's stupid. The merch sale's going to go down for them. People aren't going to tune in for pay-per-views. It's just stupid because you need to have a you need to have consistency. The, yeah. um, he wanted to see more young guys be pushed up, which is fair. I and agree. that's what we've been we've saying, saying the whole so time. Long. So long. And it's right. It's right. We, I mean... Kane's out of it. Yeah. Triple H is out of it. Randy Orton's almost out of yeah, it. Yeah, Randy Orton's close to it. John Cena bores a shit out of Yeah, and he, he can't have that much longer. No, he can't. He's rarely on the, on yeah. the wrestling anymore. Um, who else is almost gone? Like, there's a lot of people that are hitting the end of their wrestling Big career. Big Show gone to Mark Henry. Yeah, yeah, they're all hitting the end of their wrestling career. We haven't got that new meat to sustain it. No. We've got Seth and Dolph, that's yeah, it. Yeah, we've got Seth, Dolph, Dean, Dean, Seamus. I can't think of anyone no, else who's going to hold it. You've got no. the Miz, but I don't think he's he's good, but any, he, he can sustain it. it, but he's not going to be this big superstar that's, that's going to run it. Um, and then you've got all these people that are... Not, like, I think Bray could probably just work. But that's the thing. Miz, Miz is arrested because he won that reality show. Yeah. Really. He's not really a wrestler. Like, I know it sounds bad, but Miz isn't really a wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> he is, but he he won it a different... He got that a different way. Yeah. But he's really good, so I yeah. like it. But, but I mean, like they need to push some new meat. They do. I don't think Roman Reigns is going to last. I think he's going to get injured too often. I reckon. Like he's injured already. Yeah. Like, he's been out for ages. And his promo, and that makes sense. Why he's like, I mean, he's just sitting there, but surely he's got to travel somewhere to do yeah. that promo behind a curtain. Like, yeah. And you and you know what though? I I don't think Daniel Bryan's got much of a career though. No. I don't. Like he's an amazing wrestler, but I think he's been injured too much. That he hasn't got one. I'm surprised they've left him to rest so long. Yeah. No, I, I, really am. I am generally, but I think just because they can hold the Bellas over. <laughs> but oh, he came back to Raw the other week. Yeah, so he's got, he was on SmackDown as well. Was he SmackDown as yeah. well? I think because if he generally can't wrestle anymore, I think general manager. Yeah, but I we'll think he'll get it. It'll last a long time. Um. So then he's like, I'm really injured now. I'm dry heaving. I'm vomiting after every match because when you're in that much pain, that's what happens. Yeah. Uh. So then. This is a great story. I can't believe he's are so open about this story. Basically, they gave him so many antibiotics that on one SmackDown... <laughs> I haven't seen no, this. No, I haven't seen On it. one SmackDown, he actually shit himself. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, oh my God. And then he posted a tweet 
about it, about him shitting himself. Yeah. And he used the word shit, and he got in trouble by WWE for using shit. They used to say that on air. I know. And he was like, what is this childish shit? Grow up, kind of thing. So he, what he did, he deleted the tweet, wrote something about, oh, I'm fed up with this. No, fed up with poop or something. Yeah. And then he blocked WWE on contract. <laughs> but he was still on the fair contract. <laughs> it was so brilliant. I was like, that's brilliant. You've just uh-huh. blocked your employer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Um, um, let's see. So then there was, um, on the Rock pay-per-view, there was bad ratings for it. And instead of blaming the whole rock thing, they blamed our truth for Miz, which I think is really bad. Yeah. How can you... They're, what, oh. they're going to have, like, the first match? Yeah, how they're can not, you... If not, that's in the pre-show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, they're not... Like, it's very... It's only because of lately that Miz has actually been on the pay-per-views. He, for a long time, when I was watching it last time, he'd never been on the pay-per-views. Oh, really? He was just, like, there. He was on ECW. ECW yeah. had one match, or they had the pre-show match. Yeah. He didn't have much. And... Um, so I've never, like, up until recently, I've never really seen Miz on a pay-per-view. And, um, like, it's just generally that no one tuned in. Like, The Rock, he's a movie star now. No one really, like, obviously, he's, he's good fun when he comes back. Yeah. I like The Rock when he comes yeah. back. But I'm not like, oh, I have to watch The Rock. I have to watch yeah. him. He's, he's not like that. And I like his films. Hercules was good. The thing is, you see him, you see him a lot. Yeah. Just not on WWE, so you don't really need That's to tune in to see him. So yeah, no one's like, gonna go, I'm gonna pay what, fifteen pounds, go watch him. Yeah. Like you just don't need to. And I think the thing is, it's the storylines that aren't sustained in the pay per views, it's the run up, they because the thing is they, they shouldn't cater, cater like Punk said, they shouldn't cater for the casual viewers, they should cater for the people that are spending the money on them. Mm. The people that are like watching the pay per views because the casual viewer can YouTube it, you yeah. can stream it, you can do whatever you want. Like the, it's the viewers that are watching that are going to pay for this pay per view to see it live. Yeah, that they're the people you need to care for. That's why people like Punk should be in the main event. That's why people like um, Sheamus should be up there. You know what I mean? Dolph should be up there. Around your, like the the viewers, fifty percent of them don't like Cena, if not more. Yeah. Okay. He should not be every week. Yeah. The main event in every pay per view. We don't need it. Just get him injured. <laughs> He might be there for a while and then ratings are gone. But like, that's the oh. thing about his whole part time wrestling shit. Yeah. <laughs> You're never going to get the ratings. But anyway, there's also this question about the network. Is it going to work? Because they're, our age is going to get cut because you're now doing pay per views yeah. for like 10 99 a month type thing. Yeah. And Vince hasn't even worked out the budget for it apparently. He's just thought, well, let's see what happens. Yeah. How is that business way of doing things? I'm sorry. It's not. You're meant to see if you can sustain a business by doing stuff like that not to see how it goes <laughs> I mean the thing is there's a company they're just so blind I mean it's like look what happened to the Sky thing yeah is that like, like I think we've gone over that before but we were meant to get the WWE Network they're in talks with Sky for a WWE channel and it completely breached the contract that they had with Sky <laughs> like letting out Survivor Series for free so it got cancelled yeah um, but I, th- I think they're just blind as a company I mean they like blaming like lower ratings on like, like on smaller wrestlers that are there all the time. Yeah. And the thing is, John Cena could be out for like what three, four pay per views, and they could be the biggest pay per views of the year. They're still not going to go. Oh, maybe it's because John Cena's headlining it all. It's never going to be that. Well, it's like um, Punk was saying that he was on a pay per view and John Cena was nowhere to be found. And it was the best ratings they've had. Yeah. So it's not a John Cena show. They're doing it all wrong. But anyway, um, so then he's got a big massive lump on his back. And he's, the doctor's like, oh, it's just fatty tissue. Uh, here's some antibiotics. And he won't remove it. So he's like, right. It doesn't hurt at the moment, so let's yeah. just keep it. So then there's this Royal, there's a Royal Rumble. Rusev's just new. You know? I like the fact that he did that, though. Like, because obviously he took Rusev to one side and Rusev was like, okay, I'll just kick you in the corner. Yeah. And Punk was like, no. You're not going to do that. No, you're going to do you're gonna, move. Yeah. You're going to be pushed, so you need to take... Like, you need to chuck me around type thing which is good he doesn't care just about himself he needs, he cares about everyone yeah. which is fair enough because most wrestlers were not all fine and like he would be Rusev pretty gone I mean I kind of wish Rusev wasn't there yeah. <laughs> but the principle is nice yeah. I mean you know I mean at the time how was he supposed to know he was going to be good he could have yeah. been good he could have been but good <laughs> the point is like CM Punk knew for a fact and I don't think this is a big headed thing in any way people can see it as that but he knew he was selling he knew. Yeah. He knows he's one of the biggest people. He, like all you had to do is go online, and Punk was the one being talked about, right? So 
he knew that all eyes were going to be on him on that Royal Rumble. You always try and pick out your favourite, pick yeah. out who's biggest. So he was so right to go to Rusev, no, you do your move with me, because that's gonna, everyone's going to watch it. Yeah. And he was right. And he went to Kofi Kingston. Like, he went yeah. to all these, the, like, the lower guys on the roster and was like, okay, you're going to do this for me. Which yeah. is good. It profiles them a lot more. Yeah. So, so basically Rusev's apparently scared of CM Punk. Uh, so then they thought that it, CM Punk thought it was a bad idea to bring Keith back as a face. Uh, they seem really chummy though, don't you think? Yeah. And Batista kind of agrees. Mm. Uh, I reckon it would have worked better if he was heel. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure I remember him as heel. Yeah. He was better That's at being heel. When he came back as face, I was a bit like, okay. Mm. Yeah. So, that happened. And then he was like, having a discussion with Vince or something. And he was like, oh, you... I want to be the main event. He's like, oh, you are a main event. No, the last match is the main event. So yeah. he was basically saying what we've been saying. Yeah. The last match was the main event. How can you have, like, four main events in one show? You can't. Exactly. It doesn't work like that. So he was like, they were like, oh, yeah, you are. It's like, no. Main event's always the last match. We've been yeah. saying this for how long? It's yeah. like when there's two main events at Hell in a Cell. It wasn't. It no, was the last but match. But it was so good that they put Steph and Dean last. Yeah, I'm so glad. But I, I generally think that was just because of Bray Wyatt. Yeah, Because you could have... You couldn't have brought Bray Wyatt in and then had a John Cena match. No. No one would be interested. Everyone would no. be going, oh, oh my God, God what just happened? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, his wife, AJ Lee. He, I love that he keeps going, my wife. I know. It's oh, he's proud of it. He won't name who it is, though, if you notice. Yeah. Like, everyone knows it, though. I know. But, but he just goes, my wife. I don't think he wants to get her into it. Yeah. Shit. So, um, she tells him to go to her doctor. I love how she's, like, got her own doctor. She yeah, I know. She WWE. Um, uh. And he's basically said you've got a staph infection. Um, Because at this point, it's huge. It's purple, green. It's hurting him a lot. It's stopping him from sleeping. Uh, So basically, they have to squeeze this massive lump and loads Uh. of shit coming out. And he said it's the most painful thing throughout all the surgeries and shit he's had. It's the most painful thing he's ever had to go through. Um, So basically, they squeeze it out, get rid of it, and he has the best sleep ever. Because he hasn't been sleeping, like, he hasn't been doing miserable, he hasn't been sleeping, hasn't been eating, he's been thrown up, dry heaving, blah, blah. So he gets with this infection, and the doctor basically says he could have died. And that's just crazy. The fact that, one, the WWE doctor was too lazy to do anything about anything. Yeah. And you know what? I think the doctor's told, if it's something that's going to keep him off for a little while, don't 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 do do it. it. Yeah. And I think that's absolutely disgusting. It is. He, what happened if he was in a ring, in match, and he landed really badly on it, and he just yeah. died in that ring? What yeah. would have happened? It would have been terrible. No one would yeah. have watched wrestling again. No. It's just, it's one of the things they do not look after their staff. I think that's disgusting. So then he basically goes into Vince, and Triple H goes, I've done. I quit. So I think then two months later, they text him or something, don't they? Something like that. There's something about, like, Vincent Mann also doesn't tell him that he's, like, off, like investors that he's off of. He says that he's on a sabbatical. Yeah, well, Vince suspends him. Because Vince yeah. says you come back, he's like, no, I'm not ready, or something. And then... Uh, that was it. He's, yeah, he yeah. suspended him. And so he suspended him for two months. And then in an investor's call, he said he's on sabbatical. Which basically means he knows the investors are going to pay for punk. Yeah. But... He knows that he's not there. Like, like, he knows for a fact that he's not there. So he's... Not only that, he's conning investors. Yeah. Because investors will pay for him. He's not there. Yeah. So then, um... He finds a royalty check that he forgot to pay. Yeah. So he's like, okay, I've got to reissue this and I need my other ones because he hasn't received them. So don't really not send them royalty checks. He rings them all up. No one answers the phone or responds to his, like, calls. Yeah. He then, uh, on his wedding day, he receives a FedEx through the post saying he's been fired and his contract's been terminated and that his royalty checks don't really count anymore. But that's disgusting. That's two months' wages. Yeah, and the ones before. Yeah. Did, yeah, so that's a lot of money, I imagine. Yeah. Um, and especially on his fucking wedding day. I know. Like, who the fuck does that? Like, he says it didn't bother him, but there is a part of him that really yeah. made him angry. Because... No matter how, who it was, that would have pissed you off. Yeah. Um, I think especially for him, I think he wanted to leave on his own terms, which yeah. he did. But I think he would have liked the whole, yeah, I'm done, I'm quit. He didn't. I don't think he would, wanted them to go, right, that's it, you're fired. Yeah. I think he would have gone, that's it, I'm done. Let me sign everything. I'll yeah. go. Um, but it's, sorry, like, go H, Triple H knew that was his wedding day because yeah. he phoned him up a few days before, didn't he? Yeah. And he said, well, that's my wedding day. I think... I, 
he did it purposely. And the fact they did that to AJ as well, so yeah. he's still in their company. It's disgusting. Because yeah. that would have affected her as well. Yeah. I'm surprised she's still there. Yeah. I, th- I think he just supports her. I don't think. Yeah. Because the thing is, I, I think she's just riding her career out. Because they're married now, obviously. I think they're going to start thinking about babies and mm. things like that. She's, most wrestlers, they have a baby and leave. I mean... She's probably doing out of spite, though. She gets yeah. a CM Punk chance. Yeah. She is, like... Yeah, she's doing it as a, like, a out of spite. Because I would. I'm like, yeah. I'm not, why, do, why should I go? I'm going to ride this train and get all my money <laughs> and get the CM Punk chance still going. Like, yeah. he, And that, I think it's disgusting how they say that he quit. When they sacked him. Yeah. And I'm glad it's out there. Because the thing is, I'm glad he did this thing. Because I think he just did it for himself. Because all these people do come up to it. All these people do say, oh, we quit. He quit. And I think it's more of a pride thing. I don't think it's anything to do with saying anything bad about the company. No. It wasn't about money because he did this completely free. I think it's just his turn to say my side of the story. And this is how it ended. And someone... I think I think in a way this is him protecting future wrestlers. Yeah. Definitely, because I don't think it's fair on anyone else new coming into the company and being treated like him. No. I, d- I don't think he did it for anyone else. Like, I don't think he did it just for himself. I think he did it for everyone. But imagine all those other people who could be going through shit like that. Yeah. No, I, I generally think there's a few. Yeah. Generally. So then that's when CM Punk took them to court, and he actually won the settlement, mm-hmm. which is fair enough. Because I remember yeah. when it first came out, I was like, he's never going to win this. Do you remember we were discussing yeah. this? I don't think he's going to win this, but we didn't. I didn't. Well, you thought he was going to win it. I, I, I think oh, I did you not. I can't remember. I think there's a chance he would, but I didn't think yeah, he would. Yeah, but we didn't know the whole story. The yeah. Back, now we've like heard everything. We're like, well, I wonder who fucking won I mean, I think, like, from what we've heard, I think if it's any worse, they can get shut down. Yeah. Easily. Yeah, easily. The, that's, that must be breaking so many employment laws. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, I know they're a big entertainment business. I don't think it's it any different. No, I don't think not. it does because no. obviously other people have unions. So. so, in my opinion, so that was that. So, in my opinion, I think more people need to start saying no. Yeah, definitely. That company. And the more people say no, the more they're going to actually change the way they treat people. Yeah, but the thing is, that if people start saying no, are they going to? Start just firing people. They go, can't. We've got NXT. No. Well, they're not strong enough. No. They're not stupid. Vince isn't stupid. Yeah. I mean, what also bugged me though is the fact that, like, John Cena was like the bum boy of that company. Like, because he said even Cena said no to things. Yeah. But Cena gets his way. Yeah. And that is disgusting that someone who outsells Cena's merch can't say anything. Yeah. So he was saying that only people who really say no were him. Randy Orton and John Cena. No, I think Randy Orton gets his way because of generation. Yeah. Stuff that's in WWE. And the thing is, Punk was a leading man. Daniel Bryan was a leading man. They just didn't do it because I think even part of the whole Daniel Bryan thing, I think they did bring up Punk in it slightly as well. Yeah. The whole Daniel Bryan thing was that he didn't look like a wrestler. Mm. Punk didn't either. No. They were the skinny little things. They weren't these like big muscle men that everyone thinks oh a wrestler is yeah. and I think I think that's what they're doing I think they're like oh you're not the you don't look like a superstar yeah. so we can't make you one but the thing is people like Brock and Ryback and John Cena look fucking ridiculous yeah like you look at them and think you just look like a rock <laughs> you look stupid yeah it's like if you're gonna be big like own it yeah. you know what I mean there is people like Triple H who looks good doing it the rock looks good doing it um Okay, Big Show did look good doing it. Uh, um, Mark Henry did look good doing it. They yeah. just kind of passed it. Kane looked right doing it. Undertaker, looked. it's fine. Just make sure you can own it. Yeah. And that's I think that's what bugged me more than anything. And I think I'm glad that Punk said this, and I'm hoping it does change a bit. Yeah, it'll, me too. It'll be interesting because obviously this is going a bit viral. And we haven't had an episode yet. No. So it'll be very interesting see to see what happens. Like. <laughs> I think I think everyone's heard it, so I think the crowd's gonna be amazing. Oh, it's yeah. gonna, oh I can't wait to But see I it. hope that they don't just like cut everything out. <laughs> <laughs> can't put Ryback on today. Yeah. I don't think they will put Ryback no. on because Ryback spoke out about it apparently. Yeah. He put a tweet about it. Yeah, so I don't think uh, that'd be too good. Obviously the authority's already gone now. Yeah. Um just in time really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not for getting knocked up, Steph? Yeah. Um, so yeah, the only thing we've got is Vince, and he's gonna get booed. Damn. He don't really go though. He's not. You'll see. You haven't seen the rule yet. No, he's not there. So he's everyone's not. fine, apart from right back. Poor right back. See, <laughs> so he might be in shit then. Yeah, it? I hope he gets fired. So we rambled on for forty minutes. <laughs> yeah, we were like, 
like when we started filming this, it's like oh, I, don't, I don't think we'll get five minutes no. out of this. Well, um, apparently we got forty. So we did a good summary for you. Yeah, and let us know what you think about yeah. the whole thing because obviously I think a lot of people are on punk side. Even, like you weren't a fan of punk. No, now I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Yeah. So, so I think it's changed a lot of people's opinions, and I, I don't think for a second that he's like rude, like people say he is. No, he's just passionate. Yeah, and he's passionate, and that's the thing. Yeah, WWE has ruined a guy's passion for something that he loves. He yeah. doesn't want to do it anymore. Yes, I, I thought that's what really yeah. sad. Yeah, that is. He's that like, is. his whole life, he's like, I want to be a wrestler, I want to do this. And now he's like, don't want nothing to do with it. Yeah, that's that's the thing. You, like, sometimes you can have so much passion for something and someone can just shut Take you down so yeah. much. It takes it away and you just leave. I mean, that happened to me. So... I, I, it kind of, I think that's like hits home a bit more for me. Yeah. I'm just like, I want to I wanna fight for him. You know what I mean? <laughs> so... Yeah. Yeah. That's that. Yeah. Tell us what you think. Let us know. Tweet, Tweet us. us. Yeah. <laughs> Retumble. Like, share, subscribe. Comment. Comment. Let yeah. us know. Let us know your opinions. Yeah. Us, like, tell us what you think. And maybe if we get enough people telling us what you think, maybe we can discuss, discuss that. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Bye. Bye.